but please <clears throat> lean back so that you have enough space to easily cross your right ankle over your left. Now stay leaning back and kind of just roll side to side. Just roll side to side. We're just clearing stuff out in the hip. Come back through center. Now, some of you will be back here like this, kind of leaning back. Some of you can walk your foot in a little closer. You can come up onto your fingertips if you need more length and get your chest closer. Mm -hmm. Now, do a little rock, but just make it smaller than what we just did. Do a little rock, but make it smaller. Mm -hmm. All right, lift your chest. Walk your body back if you got in close. Drop your feet to the left. Lift your chest up and kind of roll your right hip forward. And then roll your chest open like you're doing camel pose again. Okay? Some of us will stay here. This is about where, where we need to be. Some of us can start to get closer some of us can hook our left elbow outside of our right knee. Don't big deal it. You're already doing the pose where whether your elbow's hooked or not. Everybody turn to your right and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Perfection. Perfection. Make sure that your right toes are relaxed. Couple of breaths. Chin to chest, lift up, stretch your right leg straight out in front of you. You might need to shift on your hips so you're clearly on your sitting bones. A little turn to your right. So think past your right foot, not to the inside. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, take your chest forward, go to the inside first. What am I thinking? This is like chocolate ice cream. If you like vanilla, okay. I don't, I don't want to know about it. Inhale, lift your chest here. And then exhale, let your body sink. So going down this aspect is probably going to give you a little more inner thigh, medial hamstring sitch. And notice if this feels on the tight side for you. Because for some of us, this is the hamstring that's actually the tight hamstring more than the one, the obvious middle one that you think about. Now turn your body over to the right. This is our traditional Janu Shirsasan pose. And notice if it's kind of tight in the same spaces that you had on that first one. Or if it's looser, if it's not that tight, you might want to go back to the first variation. All right, inhale, lift up. Still working with the right leg. Still working with the right leg. Option A, Sukhasana, right in front of left. Option B, stack your right foot. Take it just past your left knee so you don't ever take the foot to the inside of the knee. That prep plate places a lot of pressure in the meniscus and the medial ligament of your knee. You take it across. If you have a lot of negative space, meaning your knee is not on your ankle, a block here is a little much for me. You can see would be better to maybe have a, a rolled up towel. But it's helpful if you put something there. This then gives a signal to your right leg that it can let go. It can relax. It's cool. Before we go, twist your chest to the right. Walk your hands forward. Drop your nose towards your knee. 
You can allow your spine to round a little bit. Just push your hands forward and reach into your left hip. About four more slow, deep breaths. Lift your chest slightly, come through center. Good, drop in. Inhale, lift all the way up and come out. So that's like doing a five minute pigeon on your right side without any risk to your knee and less risk to your lower back. I'm not gonna get into all the reasons why, but just know that. All right, let's do this. Lean back, wiggle out your legs. Might even sort of close your eyes for a second and just notice the difference between your right leg and your left leg get a lot of energy moving through the leg. It definitely feels looser. Okay, bend both knees. I'll turn around so it's a little clearer and I'm kind of on a diagonal. Hopefully that gives you a better view. Lean back, give yourself clearance, left ankle on top of right. So it's like a seated eye of the needle. Stay back so you've got the room to really drop and drop. Getting some twist through our spine as well. So it's hip, but it's also keeping the spine fluid. And a fluid spine helps lubricate your entire body. So it's a good thing. Hold here. Now this might be where you're at, or maybe you can start to bring everything a little closer so that your chest is moving towards your chin. And then on this one, just do a smaller rock side to side. If you find a sweet spot, hang on. We're doing about eight to 10 breaths in each posture. So long enough for the leg to release, but not so long that it's like a yin situation. But cumulatively, it's yin because we're staying on one side for so long. Now walk back, create some space, drop into this variation of Ardha Matsyandrasana. For a lot of us, this pose is not accessible when we're all the way up. So this is a great way to get into it. Leaning back gives you more space. If you're okay, you can start to explore walking forward, keep your chest lifted, and then you could maybe also hook the right elbow. Whatever you're doing, turn to your left, open your chest and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Great, David, love it. It's a good, good way for you to move into this posture. Chin to chest, extend your left leg long. And even though Sukhasana usually don't feel too much inner thigh, this will help with the inner thigh aspect of that pose. Square your shoulders, walk through center and drop. <clears throat> You'll see I don't always drop all the way down because I just want you to be able to hear if I have to say something, but you could be released all the way. I'm not over flexing my left foot. I'm not 
letting it go totally limp. It's pointing up, but I'm not locking the ankle by aggressively pulling the toes back, which will help you find a little more freedom in the hip socket. Take a little cobra as you rise up on inhale. So you just lead with the heart, then twist almost past your left leg, fold forward our more traditional Janu Shirsasan head to knee pose. Letting the back of the neck and the jaw be soft. You may even start to squeeze around your kneecap to engage the top of your thigh, which theoretically will lengthen the back of your leg. Lead with your heart. Inhale, rise up. Very nice. Really good, everybody. Really good, Hope. Left in front of right, Sukhasana. Easy, supposedly easy seat, <laughs> spacious seat. Take your, or take your left foot on top for Agni Stambhasana, fire lock pose. Turn towards your left knee, walk over the left knee, fold in. You can kind of allow your spine to round a little bit here, but do push your hands forward and reach into your right hip, soften your jaw, neck and face. Next inhale, lift your chest a little, come through center, a more traditional variation, and forward. As you're releasing into this final hip opener, just notice if there's a part of you that's holding back. Can you... Send the idea of softening or letting go anywhere that you're finding a restriction or a held, held spot. Coming out of the pose, inhale. Lengthen both legs out. Let's take a moment here. Option A, bend your knees, lift your ch chest for a grounded variation of Navasana. Option B, bent knee. Option C, straight leg. You decide. Slow breath. Ah, Celeste, great. Barbet, awesome. Good, Lori. Beautiful, Paula. Really good. Nice, Shosh. Lift your chest, Laura, a little bit more. I'm being picky because you can make it. There you go. Love it, David. Great, Sid. Good, Sandy. Great, Pope. Everybody, feet down. Good, Molly. Very strong. Chin to chest. Roll down. Legs to the sky. If you do shoulder stand, plow pose, do it instead. Otherwise, super simple legs to the sky. Not here too long. Four more slow, deep breaths.
Bring your legs into constructive rest, feet wide, knees touch. Let both knees drop to your left, windshield wiper twist. Or if you like, hug your right knee to your chest. Keep your left leg where it is. Hug your right knee to your chest. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. On the diagonal, extend your right leg straight out towards your face. Bring your forehead to your shin. Good, relax your head. Take your right hand to your right ankle. Pull your right leg backwards. Keep your left leg where it is. Keep your left leg where it is. Bend your right knee. Bend your right knee. Pull your right leg back behind you. Twist. Twist with a thigh stretch. The top leg is behind you. The left leg is where it was. Good. That's it, Sid. Lengthen your right leg away from you. Pull your right shoulder down. Good, Barbette. Really good. All right. Come back through center. Find constructive rest. Windshield wiper twist to your right. Stay in windshield wiper twist. This is perfect. You get the hip, you get the twist, you get the thigh opening. If you want more, bring your left knee to your chest, hold it on the diagonal, and then extend your left leg straight towards your face. Bring your forehead towards your shin. Now, we've already done all this seated, but you might get a little more clearance in this lying down position. Or it might not feel as good this way. And then you can also do the other variation. Left hand holds left ankle and then you do a thigh stretch backwards in the twist. Roll your, great, Lori. Roll your left shoulder down on this one. Make your left leg feel longer. Come back through center, constructive rest, Supta Baddha Konasana, or Shavasana. 